Hey, greetings everybody. This is Brett from La Bets in the Belfry. I kind of wanted to do a new series um, just entitled The La Bets Crypt. Um, we, before we started this channel, we had started another channel where it was mostly just me talking about a lot of horror stuff and occasionally stuff with like Kelly with Halloween and such. So there was a bunch of videos that were uploaded on the previous channel that I had. It was originally called like Skeletons of Fun and then I changed the name um, another time and then we had started Love Bats in the Belfry because we wanted to do a channel together. So um, we have a, just a bunch of old videos that were on those channels that um, I just kind of wanted to do a series called the Love Bats Crypt of just old videos just being re-uploaded and there's a fair amount of them that I thought was some quality content in there. So this one I wanted to upload is just about, we went to Target last year around the Halloween time and got a bunch of stuff for the Halloween season. And so this is just something that we, we look a lot different in this video, even though this was only a year ago. Kelly's hair was a lot longer. My, I didn't have any of this going on here. I was clean shaven. I had a little more weight on my body, but I've lost weight since then. So, I um, hope you guys enjoy this old video of ours. So, this is one of the first ones, and there's going to be a, probably a couple in this series of the Love That Crypt. So, I hope you enjoy. See ya. Hello, all my spooky friends. My name is Brett. And I'm Kelly. Um, happy Halloween if you're watching this. We just went to Target, and this is our Target Halloween. Yes. Ha! Ha, ha! Thanks to Kelly here. She came up with that clever name. It's been done before, but I don't care. I'm going to pretend like I came up with it. Okay. So do you want to start first? Maybe we could do like one thing at a time. Sure. Like you do one, I do one. Okay. So we just got some stuff from Target just for the Halloween season because this is our favorite holiday and it'll Target be fun. always has really good stuff. Sorry if I cut you off. No, you're fine. This year, eh, I've seen better, mm -hmm. but they do have a lot of like really good pieces. Sorry. Um. I got a lot of like cute little things, not many like big things this year, Yeah. but there were some stuff that I had to walk away from. Yeah, did you find a, you found like a, there was a serving tray of a Ouija board and Ouija boards are her weakness, she yes. loves Ouija boards. Yeah, and they were, it was very beautifully done, like it had these really pretty like skeleton hands and just Sorry. it was really cute. Yeah. And it was huge, but the one that I found was the last one and had a chip in it, unfortunately. So, something I don't have with me here, because it's all downstairs, mm -hmm. is in the dollar section, they had these cute little bowls, and there were, like, sets of four, and had, like, ghosts and spider webs and stuff like that. So I got all four of those. Mm -hmm. You yeah. saw them. Yep. Anyway, so I guess I'll start. Um, we saw these cutie little pumpkin people mm -hmm. these are one of the things that i'm most excited about oh my gosh franco, franco wants a piece of this them. is not yours so these i'm very excited about we first came across this little guy mm -hmm. i did not see him i just saw her mm -hmm. and i love them so we threw those in our cart real quick and then i came across him yeah so they were kind of like supposed to be the pumpkin couple yes mr and mrs pumpkin but we're going to come up with better names because those are super lame. S soon enough we will. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, they just like sit on like a bookshelf or a counter or something. They're so cute. And they were only yeah. five bucks. Mm -hmm. So that's really cheap. Yeah, Pretty not good. bad. So I was really excited about that. Mm -hmm. So you went, um, do you want me to go or do you want to do another one? Go ahead. Okay. Um, so there was that. Um, I found one of the first things I found was this really cute sign. Sorry, Franco. One of the first things I found was at their spooky boutique. And this was what I found. This was Monster Greetings. Because I like to think of myself as a monster. And yeah, I don't know. It's just like super cute just to put on a door. And especially kids coming up to your, your door on Halloween time. Just trick or treat. Monster Greetings. So. The yeah. colors are awesome. Yeah, it's very... Their spooky boutique is, like, stuck between, like, a dollar to five bucks. And this was three. So, it's not bad. If you like uh, Frankenstein's monster, he's a cute little guy. So, yeah. Um, some more stuff that I found in that little section were some Halloween socks, which I have a huge collection going. 
every single year I buy all the socks that they have um, and I always get you the men's ones but these are the ladies ones so I can got, you see there's my socks. those are from this year mm -hmm. so I got these little ghosts if you can see that and then these ones have little witch hats pumpkins and spiders and they say eek at the top mm -hmm. which is so cute and then little pumpkin ones and the pumpkin face or the jack-o-lantern face is like glittery sort of Mm -hmm. Super cute. It's probably hard to tell on the video. Yeah, but I know. They're glittery. And then these say, no tricks, just treat. What? No treats, just tricks. That's weird. That was flip-flopped. Yeah. Anyway, those were the only ones. The kids' socks, if my feet were small enough, I would have bought all of them because they were so cute. They said, like, creep it real. The, I think the kids' socks are like better they than, are. than the adult ones it's so crazy so if you're a kid inside um target please make uh, those for adults as well yeah because we're 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 kids inside as well like franco here don't go home <laughs> <gasps> stop ruining our videos <laughs> your fine. turn okay um this was also from the spooky boutique um i just like black hats i'm not a, really a cat person but I found a black cat. Where are you supposed to go on these? It's. I mean, it's for anything. It's a candy dish. Yeah, like Kelby candy uses dish. a lot. She has one of like, um, there's like a vampire one that she has with a green face randomly. So it's like Frankenstein's monster, yeah. but also a vampire. It's really cute, but I don't know who it's supposed to be. Yeah, so she like fills fills them with some candies like um, Reese's little mini Reese's peanut butter cups so this is like yeah you could basically put anything in here but I saw this and I like black cats a lot I'm a big of your own Poe fan so I thought I would just just get this it's just another spooky decoration so yeah yeah it's perfect on that note this year Target has giant ones that are not in the spooky beauty this is huge it's pretty big like it's huge it was 10 bucks and they had cats and pumpkins, but I wanted to be able to put my coffee filters inside. So, I mean, my house is filled with Halloween stuff all year round, but I kind of prefer things that don't say, like, Happy Halloween or, like... Just your typical... Yeah, like, I just like, like, typical spooky stuff. So I thought that this would be more appropriate all year it's just a little like a little sugar skull yeah we put our so. little coffee filters in there too <laughs> yeah so like i said you can basically use them for really anything yeah you can so i love this i do too i love how big it is it makes me look forward to making coffee every morning oh yeah totally speaking okay. of oh yeah you want your starbucks endorsement don't you mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Okay, next, I did, yeah, I like Kelly. I got some little stuff trying to, I guess, be smart about money and not trying to spend too much. Um, she's a big fan of bats, and I've become, I've started to become more of a bat fan as well. Not Batman, just bat fan of just bats. Not, and not baseball bats, just bats, like that fly. So, like the ones behind us. So, um, I found this little purple jar and it just says bat's blood on it it's pretty great so i said to kelly while we were in the store i'm like i'm gonna get caro syrup and if you don't know what that is it's like clear like maple not maple syrup but it's clear syrup to like put on pancakes or waffles so if you want to make like realist kind of realistic blood you get mm. you get the caro syrup and then you get um red and yellow food coloring and if you like drop that in the syrup and just stir it up so I wanted to put just fake blood in here because it says bat's blood. I just thought that would be... That like, would be so cool. Just be a little nice touch on it. I love that. Plus the lid. It does come off. There's some stuff like in, at Michael's where it has, it, there's like jars like this, but the lids don't come off. But this one does. And it also has a... Probably hard to tell, but it's got a little tiny skull on top for the, for the lid. So really neat. And uh, yeah, this was like $3. So I don't know really nice. Mm -hmm. I love that one. I love the purple. Mm. Speaking of bats, there you my go. obsession with bats, there you go. I got this Halloween blanket, which by the way, if you're looking for spooky blankets, Home Goods has a lot, but Target has even better ones, I think, and they're only $10. 
So they had like pumpkins, they had one with like black cats, mm -hmm. but I obviously had to get this one and they're so soft. Let me see it. For 10 bucks. Oh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> so I'll probably use this all year round. I don't know if you can tell, but it just has little, little white bats on it. Yeah, like on the front here. Yeah, yeah. all over. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to, to wash this and use this. Super cute. I already have way too many Halloween blankets, but oh you can, well. You can't have enough Halloween blankets. <laughs> I'll just start to cl I collect everything, so that'll just be one more thing I start collecting. Yeah. Well, you'll need to cl start collecting Halloween glow or yeah. <gasps> snow globes. Yeah, snow globes, but Halloween ones. That is my dream. Yeah. I want to have a room with a shelf all the way around filled with them. Mm -hmm. They had one that we saw in oh. Target. It was. I forget what was inside. Pumpkin. But it was like a little stack of pumpkin. Okay, and then yeah, so you could. It was one of those try me ones where you push the button, and when you push the button, they had like little confetti inside, but it was like shaped like candy corn. And when you push the button, it would blow the candy corn confetti all around, and it would play a song. Which was like a really good song. Like it wasn't annoying. Yeah, it's not one of those try me where like, you know, kids walk up and they're just pushing it over and over, and it's just this really annoying. I don't know. I really liked the tune. Yeah. It was good. I, I liked it too. It was I, very loud, but it was good. We want. I wanted to get it, but it was like twenty some dollars. It was twenty bucks. Which, trying, and trying not to spend twenty bucks on like one. It wasn't like it was a great investment. If it was maybe like ten or fifteen, I would have mm -hmm. definitely got it. Plus, like obviously, we're not just getting stuff from Halloween this year, mm -hmm. so we're not trying to spend all of our money at one place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You okay? Crazy. Donald. Franco is panting in the video. I apologize. Oh, this might might distract him. So Target always has like seasonal dog toys. Mm -hmm. So I found this and I thought it was super cute. Franco loves it. It does squeak. <coughs> oh my gosh. It scared me. It does squeak. So um, Franco really likes that. Yeah. Here you go. I, I just love it because it's um, just looks like Frankenstein's monster, but like part of his thumb is like bitten off and it's just the bone yeah. of the thumb. So super it, cute. It is really cute. He has no idea what it looks like, but whatever. I get to look at it and it's cute, so. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll go next. Yeah. Um, I'll just do these two because they're both very, very similar. But I, I just like this. This was also in the Spooky Boutique. I just like little things you can just kind of get. And so these came with the little lights inside, but... I just thought they were really cute, just like the uh, Jack O' Lantern one. And you can, you can actually put a real candle in them. Mm -hmm. So, but these came with the little lights. I don't know if they work. I just didn't even test them out at the store. Oops. They might. Do they need a battery or no? Um. Oh. Oh, you gotta pull the tab. I gotta pull the tab. Whoops. Well, it lit up for a second. There you go. There you go. Does it flicker or no? It did flicker for a second before coming on, but I gotta pull the tab on this one too. Here we go. Super cute. And it's lit up. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but yeah. So I just thought they were cute, you know. Get some spooky atmosphere going. Yeah. In your house. You wanna go next? So this next one is pretty funny. <laughs> I love it. I bought this thinking that it was a penguin because penguins are my favorite animal ever. And I was like, wow, it's a penguin Halloween decoration. That's so rare. It's dressed up like a pumpkin. I have to get it. And then when I brought it home and took it out of the bag, I realized it was actually just a bird. It's a bird. <laughs> um, so I didn't know if I wanted to keep it, but the more I look at it, the more I kind of love it so much. They have like this vibe going on this year of like a lot of handmade like ornaments and just like little knickknacks and stuff. So I like this little guy. His name is Patches. He's cute. Love him. He can go live with our other pumpkin family. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just thought it was funny that I thought it was a penguin. Yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, you're fine. It does remind you of a penguin just the way it looks though. So. Yeah. Um, these are another little thing. Um, Kelly got some as well, but these are little, they just call them beverage holder, holders, but they're also known as koozies, I guess, for alcoholics. Lay down. Or, I don't know, I guess they're beverage holders, but um, they had a, a couple different designs, and so, yeah, Kelly has um, one of a jack-o'-lantern, one of 
a couple ghosts say boo. I have one that says eat, drink, and be scary, which a lot of like Halloween decorations have been doing lately. This thing, you know, playing on Christmas words, and I I like it. Um, just the the funny jack o' lantern winking. Mm -hmm. And then this one is just some you know typical phrases of you know what you say around Halloween. Tell me something spooky. Give me something good to eat. So, I think that might be my favorite. This one. Oddly enough. Yeah. It just it's I don't know. it's just words on it, but I kind of like it. Yeah, it's it's cute. Anything else you got? Yeah. I know you have some I probably have... more stuff than I do. No, I'm actually showing the last thing. Oh, really? Well, it's a handful of things. Okay. So, I'm really digging this like whole succulent thing that's going on. <laughs> so, Target had all of these fun little pumpkin succulents and they had a cat, this little ghost, but a lot of like skulls and pumpkins in every single color you could have imagined. So it's funny because I went into the store like the day that they were putting their Halloween stuff out and I was like s like swimming through like all of the carts that they had out to get to the aisle just to see what they had out. And this was like one of the only things out and I immediately grabbed them. Mm -hmm. They were three bucks each and they're fake, but they don't look bad. Yeah, they're not, they're not bad at all. So freaking cute. I'm probably going to keep these out all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with them. But um, I have two more. Okay. So this one, I really like a lot. It's just a black pumpkin with this pretty like orange and yellow succulent inside. And then this one's okay. I don't really care about this one. It looks really fake. But I thought it was cool because it was gray. So it's not like typical Halloween colors. Mm -hmm. It's more neutral. Yeah. So I thought that that was kind of cute. They're That's cute. all I have. Um, so you get to save the cool stuff for last. They're, they're, it's not that cool, but um, we might be running out of time just based on my battery. It says, can you read that? It says like 21 minutes. Or something. Yeah, 21. Just hurry. Okay. So this is another little thing I got. These are grow bats. You know those, like you, I guess you would say they're dinosaurs. Like you put them in water and after a couple of days they get bigger and bigger. So these are just grow bats. I just thought I'd get this because Kelly loves bats and I'd love Aww. to just... I love to just sit this in, you know, a little glass of water and just see how big it gets. Mm -hmm. It might scare me one morning. I'll wake up and be like, ah, there's a giant bat in my room. <laughs> but cute little thing. And then I found um, a couple movies, and I just thought I'd take a gamble on it. So this is, I'm pretty sure this is from the 90s, but there is, if you've been to, um, there is the famous ride, but I got Tower of Terror. And I've never seen this, but it's from Disney, and it's, Probably another one of those, watch this at Halloween time, like Disney's Hocus Pocus. Right. But um, I thought I'd just take a gamble and get this. And then I also found, me and Kelly have been wanting to see this for a long time. We're big Tim Burton fans. I mean, Beetlejuice is one of her favorite movies, practically her favorite movie. It is. Yeah. Favorite. So, um, and a lot of people love Nightmare Before Christmas, but we've never seen Frank and Weenie. And it just has this black and white Halloween type vibe to it. I haven't heard that much about it, but I've been just, we've been wanting to see it, so mm -hmm. I just thought I'd buy it anyways. But the real last thing, I was psyched on when I found this, and you were psyched. Yeah. And this lady got really pissed at us she because did. she was looking for this, and I found it like five seconds before she did. And this was the last one they had, was this is a bleeding candle. So you light it, and it literally bleeds. Like, it, it looks like almost like, kind of like a lava type thing, but it literally looks like it's a bleeding candle and I'm psyched to try this yes. out with you. Um, there's, I remember we saw something online like last year where it was like kind of like a skeleton hand or whatever and each of the fingers had a wick on it and as you lit it, it would like bleed red as as it was melting and as it was melting, you saw the bones inside. So cool. So this is like the next best thing to getting that but this was only $10 so um, yeah, this was the last one they had, so if there was like two more, I probably would have gotten them as oh, well. Oh, totally. So, bleeding candles, get them everywhere, especially if they're f black skulls. Yes. So, that's all I have, and yeah, I think that's, that's it. all you have, but this was our Target Halloween, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this, like this video, subscribe, comment. If there's other stuff that you got that we might have missed, let us know in the comments. We appreciate all your spookiness. 
your creepy atmosphere. So thanks for having fun with us. We hope to see you in the next video and uh, take care of yourselves. Stay creepy, but not too creepy. Stay spooky, actually. How about that? <laughs> what? You're so nerdy. I love you. I, I love you, too. Thank you. I want to get up, but Franco's laying on my knee. You can't move. You're stuck. It's on your head. Something. I'm stuck. Turn the camera off! Bye! Bye, everyone.